Hello and welcome. My name is Chris Simpson, Quality Assurance Manager for the awarding organization of CITB. This video has been designed to assist you in developing and agreeing effective assessment plans for your NVQ learners. Assessment planning is all about two-way discussions between the assessor and the learner, and the assessor building up a clear understanding of what work activities the learner is going to be carrying out, what has been carried out, and how it can be evidenced. Planning discussions will allow the assessor to explain the requirements of the qualification or units to be assessed. By explaining how the assessment criterion relates to the learner's job role, will broaden the learner's understanding and allow them to assist in identifying available evidence. The following are examples of assessment planning with two totally different types of learners. The first example is with a new entrant apprentice and the second example with an experienced operative both working towards a level 2 MVQ diploma in trial occupations. Hello Nick. Hey, yeah. Uh, How are you doing? I'm good, cheers, you? Good. Yeah, things been okay? Yeah, yeah, not too bad, yeah, going good. well. Enjoying it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's great. As I explained on the last visit, uh, when we went through your induction, yep. uh, we, we talked about the units, didn't we, that you'll be carrying out, yep. uh, and the type of brickwork and block work that you'll be encouraged to, yep. to do. This visit today is to, is to kind of push it on a bit now, and, and, yep. and to plan what we're going to be doing, and types of evidence we're going to be using. Yeah, okay? okay. Just as a bit of an overview, um, what sort of work have you been doing since I last saw you? Uh, a bit of block working on the line with Jim, um, sort of labouring, knocking up, sweeping up, that, that sort of thing really. Okay, that's, that's good. I mean, I suppose we don't really expect you to be doing too much uh, brick or block yeah. work at the moment. Yeah. Um, is it fair to say you've been doing a bit more labouring than you yeah, have been? Yeah, I'd say so, yeah. Okay. Um, when you was working with Jim, I mean, obviously you, you were on the line of him, he was kind of watching what you were doing? Yeah, yeah, he was. Okay, yeah. so they haven't let you loose on any brick? No, not yet. Nothing no. yet? Okay, that's good. Um, like I say, this, this is to now push it forward, so we're, yeah. I'm going to explain to you some of the assessment methods we're going to use, and okay. hopefully you, you, you're going to be in agreement with that. Yeah. Um, one of the strongest pieces of evidence we can use is an assessor watching you actually in action, right, uh, okay. doing your job. Yeah. Um, so obviously that's workplace observation. Okay. Um, dependent on the type of work you'll be getting, We'll, we'll be uh, carrying out observations you know, yeah. every so often. Could be more, could be less, dependent on the type of quality of work okay. that you're getting or the type of work you're getting. Yep. Okay? So to start off with, I mean, obviously, like you say, you've been uh, labouring, sweeping up. Yeah. Uh, so I'll be having a word with Brian to see if we can get you on something a little bit more meaningful. Yeah. But obviously they've got their job to do and they've got yeah. their buildings to build. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So I can't kind of make him, but yeah. he did say at the start that we'll be able to get you through this qualification so okay. his part is to give you some of the work yeah in in the next couple of years or whatever um you know it's worth remembering that we're not here to sort of like rush it along yeah but this is your first sort of planning visit so yeah uh, we'll, we'll be okay to just take our time a little bit yeah um okay so workplace observation i'll be coming out like i say making notes on what you're doing um having a look taking photographs or, yeah. or video of what you're doing okay right okay um all questioning Whilst you're working, yeah. uh, I'll be asking you some questions about what you're actually doing to give, right, me, a, okay. give me an overview of what you're, if yeah. you under, actually understand why you're doing right, it. Okay. You might be doing it, but you might not understand yeah, why you're doing yeah, it. Yeah. Okay? So uh, I'll be making a record of your answers and then I'll be cross-referencing those to the standards. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Another good method of assessment for, for somebody like yourself, obviously, or, or an NVQ learner, is that um, we ask other people like your, your colleagues or your, your boss to, to carry yeah. out a witness testimony. Right, okay. A witness testimony is basically uh, me uh, clarifying some of the work that you've actually done on site so you could grab me by the hand and show me some of the work you've done. Okay. But they would vouch and say that that was the case, you yeah. didn't do that work. Okay. Or yeah. I could be asking them to give me some specifics on, on other types of work or behaviours that you, yeah. you've shown, you know, like turning up for work on time, yeah. talking to the, your, your clients correctly. Okay. okay. Now. Obviously, it's your NVQ as well, so what sort of um, evidence do you think you can provide for me to, to assess? Uh, I've got sort of photos on the phone and of work I've done. Have you? Okay, yeah. that's good. Would you be okay to take a video? Uh, yeah, or could videos? do. Or yeah, videos? Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, it's your choice. I mean, you know, obviously, like I say, if you're uncomfortable doing it, 
we'll, uh, we'll, we'll think of something else. Maybe mm -hmm. I'll come and see you more times. Maybe I'll get more testimonies, but that's, yeah. that's okay. Yeah. Well, what, what we need to do uh, is, is, like I say, I'm not going to overload you with it. But that, yeah. an action, the action for you is to, is to now start thinking about you know, photographic yeah. uh, generation of, of video uh, and, and the fact that I'll be coming out to see you, which will be in okay. two months' time. Right, okay. okay. Yeah. In two months, uh, in and around the 18th to the 22nd, I'll be coming out to see you. Yeah. Um, you'll know about it because obviously I'll let you know. Yeah. But I'll also get that clarified of Brian. Okay. Because obviously he needs to know that I'm coming out. Yeah. Um, and what I'll do is I'll, I'll be coming out and I'll be reviewing some of the evidence with you. Yep. Uh, I'll be looking at what you're doing on okay. the day. So hopefully you're doing something meaningful. Yeah. That's why I'll ring Brian in between because hopefully, uh, you know, there may be something where you say, well, you're not actually doing anything yeah, okay. to, to meaningful at the time. So we'll, we can sort that out, but we'll, yeah. we'll talk about that because obviously the company doesn't stay in any place too long on their bit yeah. because you're quite small building projects. Yeah, really. we are, yeah. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I know of that. I mean, I know the company, so yeah. that's fine. And obviously, how are you getting on at college with your, uh, with your training at the moment, your training department? Yeah, yes, yeah, it's going okay. Yeah, yeah, you're enjoying that as well? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, I've had a word with, uh, with Jim, and, yeah. and, and he says you're getting on fine. Okay, so that's, that's great. You've, you've done a couple of assignments at the moment, haven't you? Yeah. So the assignments that you've done, are, I, I've encouraged Jim or the, the college to start writing, or for you learners to start writing their assignments in a way that reflects what they actually do in the workplace. Okay, yeah. Uh, I think you're, you're obviously you, you're familiar with yeah, that, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So I could also use that as, as knowledge evidence, right. as long as it's written in a way that's explaining how okay. you do what you're doing out here. Yeah, yeah, Okay. Yeah. So we'll be looking at that as well when I come out okay, to see yeah. you again, okay? Uh, I'll write you an action plan, and I've explained on here how we're going to, okay. to kick off and get yeah. you moving with your NVQ. Yeah. Okay, so you okay with that? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so if you are, would you mind signing yeah. there? Because that's part of our procedure that we get the assessment plan signed. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right then. Thank you very much and I'll, um, I'll be seeing you in two months. Okay, then. cheers. Hello, Dave. Hello, mate. How you doing, all right? Not too bad, not too bad at all. Um, how's things been? Busy, hectic. Yeah? Really busy, actually. Good. I well, see this one's nearly finished then, mm. you're getting on well with this one. Yeah, we've got loads on here. Yeah? Loads and loads. Obviously about uh, three weeks ago now, I think we saw each other, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, um, be that, yeah. Yeah. Do you recall much about what we said last time? I mean, I left you a... Little bit. I left you our little booklet, didn't I? Um, yeah, a little bit. I'm not sure where that is now, but yeah, okay. it's in the van somewhere. Okay, but do you, uh, do you remember that we, we said that we're going to... Uh, there's various units to uh, to the, your brick laying quill? Yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah, you said um, there's five or six units, didn't you? That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Don't ask me what they are, because I don't know. No, well, we'll uh, I'll, I'll explain those right. again to you later on, if you like. But mm -hmm. um, basically, it's setting out, it's being able to communicate health and safety, it's uh, building to a cavity, mm -hmm. some solid walling, nine inch yeah, stuff. Yeah, loads of that, yeah, loads of that. Okay, so like we said last time, you told me last time, uh, didn't you, that there was um, that you've been doing this for about 20 years now. 25 years now, 25 yeah. 25 years, yeah. yeah, that's it, that's what I made on my notes. We had a good chat, didn't we, about the mm -hmm. type of work that you'd done, mm -hmm. and, and I, I made a record of that, and that's mm -hmm. kind of lent me to to uh, f you know put together your assessment plan with you now that, that reflects your, your years as a brickie. Right, yeah. Okay, because... Um, we have to demonstrate that you've you've actually worked consistently to the standards as an assessor. So in other words, the standards and you've worked consistently to them. Okay. Right. It's it's saying that because you've been a bricklayer for 25 years, that would be your consistency. But now what we've got to do is prove it. Okay. We've got to we've got to confirm that you've been a bricklayer right, for 25 yeah. years. Yeah. Now I know know it, I know it. You don't yet. Yeah, that's um, it. Well, it. sort of. I mean, I'm what I like to how I like to do it is that uh, basically let's let's just you know we know how experienced you are. Let's just prove it. Let's get your NVQ for you. Um, you know, without without going over the top and doing. Uh, unnecessary things. Okay. All right, yeah, yeah. So this is reflective of, of your assessment plan. Now, can I just confirm that you, uh, you, you, you've you worked on drainage because last time we discussed uh, the fact that you're going to be doing Unit 45, which is drainage? I have, but years ago. Yeah, but I've, I've been on house bashing for the last 10 years. I ain't, I ain't been on much drainage. Okay, so... Uh, gr a ground, they get the ground workers in to do that. Okay. I have done it, but many low, years ago. Who would confirm yeah. that you've done that? And nearly all dead now. Right. Um, so what, you're not you're not involved in drainage at the moment. No, like I said, I I've just been on house bashing the last okay. ten years. At okay. Least. What sort of, sort of houses have uh, or, or structures have you been laying your bricks up against then? In the past. How have you been up against? Well, let's put it as a timber frame. 
Yeah, oh yeah, we did stacks of timber frame houses. Lovely. Uh, and done a little down on that Barrett site down the road. Okay, and, you, and there's people around who could vouch for some of the work you did? Yeah, yeah. And I could talk to you about it? Yeah, no problem. Okay. What about concrete, up against concrete? Abbey slots, things like that, putting those in? A little bit, not, not, not that much though. Okay, but you've done a fair bit, of, uh, you, you've done some. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. And still in between steels, working with steel work? Yeah, we did some, um, did, used to do a lot of uh, farm work. Okay. Uh, barns and th you know grind stores and things like that. Okay, excellent. And and obviously once again for verification purposes and for for authenticity, there's people around that can vouch for that sort of work as well. Yeah, there's we, a few guys on here I've worked with who. Okay, so so as your as your assessor and in your agreement, I think that we can change the drain you change your assessment plan to reflect that you're going to be doing dry, uh, cladding, which is unit forty two, which might not mean a lot mm -hmm. to you, but it's unit forty two uh, from drainage because we can generate evidence. Better for that. Yeah, if that's what you recommend. On yeah, yeah. makes sense okay to me. Yeah, that? yeah, no problem. Okay, that's good. So that's the first. Ch that's the change to the assessment plan. Okay. Okay. Um, and I'll I'll explain to you the standards for those later on. But it's still mm. it's still really being able to demonstrate that you've built up against uh, those sorts of structures. Okay. Right. Okay. So how are we going to how are we going to assess you? How are we going to what sort of methods are we going to use? So the best evidence for uh, for an experienced worker like yourself is that you're here day in day out. You've been here quite yeah. a while now. I know where you're going to be. It's quite useful actually mm. because I I, I can set, set a, an assessment date with you, and then um, I could come out and, and actually see you doing doing your stuff out on site there. Okay. Yeah. So no we're gonna, I'm going to come out and observe you working away. Okay. Um, and I'll make some notes on that and make uh, a record of what I've seen and I can refer that back to the mm -hmm. standards. Okay. Yeah, I ain't got a problem with that. That's good. Whilst you're working, I could uh, I can I can ask you some questions. Are you okay with that? You'd be happy with that? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I'm, no, yeah, no problem with that. Okay, so I'll, I'll be asking you some questions to gain a knowledge or gain your knowledge of what you're actually doing. All right. Okay. Um, you're the, you're the site, site foreman for these, this, this gang, aren't you? Well, right? just just for our small gang, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so just for you, the six, so you, six brickies. Okay, that's great because that means that you must have control of the drawing then. You must liaise yeah, with the site yeah. manager. Okay. So site drawing, okay, bunged in, in, in your file won't be evidence, but when I talk to you about the site drawing and you're able to explain to me how you use it, where you applied what's on the drawing on site, okay, mm -hmm. you'll be okay with that for me to do that. So I'll be yeah, discussing, yeah, we're using it every day, yeah. discussing that sort of evidence with you. No problem. And making a record of what, yeah. what you're saying. Okay, that's great. Um, and how long have you known the, uh, the the site manager here? Off and on, probably six, seven years. Okay, so he's worked with you on various contracts. Yeah, well, I've been, I've been I've been with this this outfit for quite a while now. Okay, so even though I'm a selby, I've I've been with this contract for quite a while. Okay, that's great. So I can uh, use a, a method called witness testimony and ask him the sort of work you're doing, where you did it, when you did it, and yeah, I'm, okay, yeah. I'll obviously I'll chat to him see if he's happy for me to to okay. shift you away and ask him some things. But I'll do that. Okay. Um, and obviously your prior experience, um, we, we've kind of touched upon that, haven't we? And, mm -hmm. and we've talked about the, the, the evidence uh, that you, or sorry, the work that you've done in, in previous times. Mm -hmm. um, there, is there anybody or any other companies that you worked for that I could go, maybe gain a reference from to, to give me a, like a consistency angle or clarification of what you've actually done? Yeah, I'm sure there is. Uh, who have they got to be? Have they got to be bosses? Could, have they got could to be, be clients? It could be somebody who you've worked alongside with on site. Who's you know competent themselves, shall we say? It's uh, it's basically a well. I've worked with, I've worked with my mate Wilco for the last ten years nearly. Has Wilco got an MVQ? No, he's he did a, he did an apprenticeship years ago. Okay, that's fine. So that, that's good. So I can talk to Wilco. Mm -hmm. So we can get a fully rounded picture of your experience. And based on that, the MVQ you know shouldn't be something that's going to take ages and ages. It's not an apprenticeship. It's it's something where we can demonstrate your experience and your knowledge in a reasonably quick time because of what you've actually done in the past, what you're doing now, bringing other people in to talk about what yeah. you've done, discussing it with you. Because that'll get me a card, won't it? It'll get you a card. That's, that's what yeah. I, need, that's yeah, what I, I need. know. I know that's probably what, yeah. what your, main uh, your main drive is. Yeah, I understand that. But this is well, it's nice to have a qualification as well, but they, well, yeah, keep, yeah, they yeah, keep saying, I need a card, good. I need a card. So. An MVQ is obviously with you for life. It shows it, it's good that some, some, uh, you're now recognised as a competent, or you will be recognised as a competent bricklayer. All right. Okay? Yeah. So that's what I've done there. It, it, does that sound okay? Does that sound quite clear to what I'm going to do? Yeah, just the yeah. onus isn't really on you. I mean, if you want to, to give me some evidence, you know, I can write. Mm. We can write an action plan to say mm. some of the types of 
uh, documentation that you use you could make available to me. Mm -hmm. I could go into the site office and I could look at some of the, doc uh, the method statements and things like that that you, you said that you mm -hmm. told me that you use mm -hmm. uh, on a previous occasion. Yeah, they're, so, all, they're all up there, yeah. Yeah, so I can go in there and have a look at those. I can mm -hmm. talk to you about them. So in other words, I can gain a rounded picture of what mm -hmm. you do on, the, on a site or on this particular site as well. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Is there any, uh, any, any problem with me videoing you when I come out to see you? No. No, you're no, okay with that? Yeah, that's all right, yeah. Yeah? Okay. As long as he's like happy with it, yeah, I'd, okay. I'd, have, I'd have a word with him upstairs. But okay. yeah, is there any other evidence that you do you think as you know? I know you're busy day to day. Any other evidence that you might think about uh, giving to me or, or making available to me? No, I'll have a think about it, but I can't think of anything at the moment. Okay, no. all right. So what I'll be writing is a, as a plan, or I've written you your assessment plan, and then I'll be writing you some like an action plan to what I'd like you to do before the next visit. Right, but yeah. it's really based around the fact that, you know, um, it's some of the documentation that you use, so we can have a talk about that. If you do feel minded to take some photographs of the work that you're doing, that'd be great. Oh, that, yeah. That'll add to it. Uh, but we'll have a talk about those as well, and I'll be able to glean what you've actually done in those photographs by talking to you and confirming it with others. All right, okay. yeah, no problem. Okay. So, on this site all the time, that's great. Mm -hmm. I, I can, uh, I, I've got your mobile number. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like, if I may, can I call you uh, and arrange a visit in around a month's time? Yeah, any time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just give us a call. Okay, so on the 18th of give May. It, give us a call the night before because we do, yeah. you know, the odd occasion. Yeah, I understand. You might move off somewhere else. Yeah, we'll or, rain and of course, yeah. we've got the weather to yeah. think about. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so around about the 18th of May, then I'll, 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 I'll well, we're planning for the 18th mm -hmm. of May. And I'll come back out and I'll see you, and then uh, we can move this on. All right. Okay? Yep. Um, like I say, I'll, I'll write you a, a, an action plan, and uh, hopefully we can move this, get this moving, and get you your card and your NVQ, of course. Sounds like a plan to me. Okay. Would you mind signing there? It's part of my centre's whereabouts. Just there. Look, it's just uh, to prove that we've been. Well, my centre's policy is that we get these things signed. All right. All right. Thank you very much.